Blessings everyone, this is Sandra. I wanted to address the solar cosmic Christ, since folks have uh, some questions about that. Let me just go over the structure that is that is being created in those who want to activate that solar cosmic Christ at state of beingness. At the center of that is uh, this diamond shape. I know I went over in the last video how that looks, but within the, the cent your heart center, and that's high heart, right there in that soft area, heart center right in the middle, solar cosmic crested state, kind of right in between the, the two of them. It's not actually your high heart, it's not your heart center, it's it's in between the two, it's it's new. And here are some, some pointers for how to how to experience that. In the middle of that diamond is that spark, that source spark that connects you all the way back to source, all the way through all levels, layers, dimensions of you, all the way out to the, the highest expression and straight back to source. It is unique. It is something that was planted in the human genome and has been uh, returning uh, since the 11.11. So it, it, the spark got activated, you started taking on what they call the God Drop and started activating those codes that, that start activating the solar, cosmic, Christed state of beingness. And for a lot of us who have been working on that, it can be a, a very unique sensation. And that's where that golden light, the natural state of the human genome, your DNA, is that golden light. It's what a lot of those those paintings that show the, the halo around, oh, I guess you can't really see that. Uh, the, you know, the paintings that show the halo around the Christed beings, you know, that's that golden light. It's not around your head, it's actually around your entire beingness, but it comes from here. Uh, this is, you know, that, that pure creator light intelligence is that, that Christed state of beingness. And, and it's something that every divine human reactivating that, that template, taking on that choice to do that in this incarnation, uh, can accomplish. And as a few folks move into a full and complete activation of that, it becomes a lot easier because then those people can then go and activate others who have attained um, that, that level of beingness. And again, it's not up to somebody else to activate you. It's, uh, it's you're, you're activating yourself, but there will be people available who will be able to, to heal and amplify that. Of course, you're going to have to go through shedding all that you are not. You know, this isn't walking up to someone out on the street and all of a sudden, bing, you know, you're a Christed being. doesn't work that way. Never has, never will. This is, this is something that you decide to, to take on. And as you decide to take this on, interesting symbols and structures might come in. You might, uh, you might feel uh, the Maltese cross. This is an ancient symbol for the cosmic light, the cosmic heart. It's the same thing. It actually has a front and a back to it. You know, there's, there's the, um, I drew this little diagram here because this is, you know, up through the crown, down through the root, out each side, and front and back. And that coordinates with this, this little diamond that we have in the middle, you know, the diamond. Up, down, front, back, side, side. It's a diamond. Yeah. Okay. This, this is something that you command to come forth, and by commanding, you're not just saying words. Commanding is... is hmm. get into commands for a while. So commands are not just repeating uh, special words and, and magically things happen. We're not dealing with, with spells. This is a much higher state of beingness than working with any kind of lower dimensional spells and witchcraft and everything like that. That stuff used to work. Note that it's not working anymore. Uh, this, is, this is moving in, you know, evolution. Here we are. Uh, this is we have to work with the energy that's available. Lower dimensional energy is not able to manipulate higher dimensional frequencies. 
forever. So here we are working purely with higher dimensional frequencies because this is, you know, as divine humans wake up, there, there is no more manipulation. We're, we're seeing it already. You can see this already. You know, the, the gals and mystic sisters or, or whatever group you have going on, you can see that where you'll, you'll sit around and you'll be like, I can see it, I can see it, I can feel it. Your, your perception is changing, and it's changing because this is activating. Now, you can consciously speed up the process just as we speed up and accelerate the, the shift in consciousness by being good way showers and gatekeepers. This is, you know, we are in service to the light, and the light, and part of being in service to the light is, is creating the highest expression of humanity so that everybody sees oh, that's what we are. Okay, yeah, let's bring it on. So here we are. You can use the same methods that we that we use during the 12, 12, 12, breathing in through the top. You know, if you just want to get familiar with where, what it feels like, you know, you can picture the diamond or whatever, but you don't have to. Breathing in through the top, you know, forget about all of the chakras. and Which chakra am I using? Is it my star chakra? Is it... You're becoming a cosmic being. Cosmic beings, you don't have to worry about how fast is my market was spinning. <laughs> Forget about it, okay? Bre breathing in, just to get familiar with what that, breathe, breathe in and out through the, the top and bottom of that diamond, right into the heart center, down into core of Gaia, up, out, side to side, practice, front and back, Front and back, the, the front is going to be the, a broadcast station. Trust me, it's like the, the, the minute you turn that thing on and you're, you're open and available for that to, to start working, it's, that, that's where your healing is, is going to be, become very intense. You know, as we start fully embodying this crystalline consciousness, your healing abilities are going to come straight out of here. You're, you're going to be completely out of the way and that pure source light will come through. This is a lot of, of what we're experiencing now when we're opening these gateways, is the, the aha moment of, of going expand, and you, you feel the, the energy, the amplification, come right through your beingness, and suddenly you are that giant galactic being, that giant cosmic light, and everything around you starts responding to it, in the natural world, you know, you'll get birds, you'll get, you know, beings, you'll get rocks, you'll get elementals. Elementals, very strong connection to that cosmic light. And, and elementals right now are, are very uh, active because of the changing magnetics on the planet. So they're, uh, they're in a lot of flux. So when they're when they they too are getting caught up in the oh the magnetics and I'm going here you know wind whatever you're 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 getting blown around and something creates a gateway of pure cosmic light and and commands the fifth dimensional photonic magnetic light to come in and when that stuff starts pouring in you will notice and I've noticed it this at every site that I've been sent to there is always an extended moment of complete stillness where you're in the middle of a windstorm and all of a sudden whoosh, everything stops. And it's beautiful because you feel the absolute balance and the absolute harmony that this light can create, that you can create as a, as a conduit for that light. So familiarize yourself with how this feels right within your beingness. Command it to open wider. Play with it. Play with, with shooting golden light, always golden light. If you want to say photonic, magnetic light, go ahead. And, and play with the different directions you could send this. Play with bringing in more of the cosmic light. And you're not bringing it in through, through the top of your head. You're bringing it in straight through that solar cosmic Christed center, that diamond right in the middle. You know, and again, you don't have to picture the diamond. It can be a big ball of golden light, however you want to picture it. But your energy fields are going to shift. And you're going to notice changes in people around you. Don't look at that as evidence of whether or not you're doing it right or wrong. You know, some people just 
just blocked completely. <laughs> but as as you you start playing with this light and visiting people, you know, take take a little take a little trip and go visit someone through through the astral or poke a th poke a hole through the very thin uh, illusion of a void that there is. Go to the go to the fifth dimension and start playing with the fifth dimensional self, the fifth dimensional planet, the fifth dimensional beings that have already attained that level of unconditional love. And when you have that unconditional love in your heart, it expands that ability for you to channel that cosmic light, to be that cosmic light. You're not bringing it in and something's doing it to you, it is you. You know, this is the return of the divine human. That template that everyone has been talking about that we took on in 2010, 2011, you know, it's getting activated, now 2012, fully ready to go, and here we are. And here we are during this gateway where this solar heart center is going to become a lot of people's natural state of beingness. There is some purification that has to happen within the body vehicle. You know, this isn't something that is... Um, I know the, the Essenes had to go through a lot in order to experience this, but the energy has changed, frequency has changed in the planet to the point where it, it doesn't take as much effort before. A lot of people give up. They're like, I'm never going to be able to live like an Essene. Uh, who said you had to? Who said you had to? But you do have to puritize and divinitize the vehicle that you're that you're incarnated with right now. You know this is this is going to be the vehicle for your experience, and in order to turn on that twelve strand DNA, that dimensional DNA. You know this all turns into a very multi-dimensional operating system right with right within your heart center that when when the when the strands start activating and you you start having the aha moments of i think i activated another strand what does that feel like you know you're you're not going to get into the complete source as self experience uh, on as a permanent state of being until all 12 come online, you know, then you become your pure cosmic self. And that, that it's not a long road. There's not a long road to that anymore. This is, people are going to start experiencing not just glimpses of that, but days of that, journeys of that, long extended experiences of that. And in order for the body vehicle to hold that, in order for your energy fields and your light body to hold that, it needs to dispel things that keep it down. I know I went over this in the course, but cleanse and clear the body vehicle as best you can. Don't make yourself ill trying to do everything all at once. But uh, remember that the metals are, are an important factor in clearing the metals out of the body so that it doesn't keep the DNA, which has been carbon-based up until now, doesn't keep the DNA in a carbon-based form so that the, the crystalline, the silica, can start to form and activate. And that's what's happening when you get into these states of beingness. And there is, there is a tipping point. You know, you're going to, to get yourself into a state. You know, if you start cleansing the body vehicle, you're going to start having experiences when you change your diet, when you start eating real food, you know, real activated food. And then you start getting off food. And then you get into you know, just fruit, and then it's just juice, and then you're like, okay, I'm ready for breatharian. And when you start getting into that state, it's it's a whole picture. It's not just about diet, just about, well, I went breatharian and nothing happened. It's like, well, yeah, but I still, you know, hate everybody. You know, I hate everybody who's not a breatharian. You know, this is a, a complete picture. So be sure that all the pieces are being touched on. You know, I, I used to be a, a life coach, and in life coaching, they have, like, I know it seems really kind of silly now, but um, but when you have, you know, the big pie chart of, like, relationships, finances, and all, all the different, you know, health and spirituality, you know, all, all the different pieces of the pie, now we're getting into the pieces of the pie for ascension. 
you know, and those, the, the pieces of the pie for, for ascension look very different because you, you no longer have the, the financial, the how, how am I doing with my family? What about my home? Do I own a home? You know, all, all those things um, just go away. So I should probably make a, you know, I would make a pie chart for, <laughs> for ascension, but do it for your own process. You know, don't, don't wait for me to create that. I mean, you know, it's, what's going to fit in a, a pie chart for, for ascension is going to be, um, you know, health, cleansing, spirit, creativity, uh, service, re relationship with humanity, the planet, you know, all, all those, those little things that all, come together, all get in alignment, and then you're then you're ready. You know, then you're you're ready to to start doing this. And again, it's a choice. A lot of people are gonna waver up and down. You know, it's like, oh I felt it and then I got scared. Okay. It's like, well what am I gonna do about uh, if I'm a fully Christ being, what am I gonna do about my job? All, all that other stuff. Um, you know, either you're gonna go for it or or you're not. However for, for the folks who are, are going to go for it, who are going to embody this, um, I do believe that that is going to spread like wildfire. You get a few folks showing, hey, this is possible, hey, this is real, uh, uh, people will give up everything to, to have at that. And then they're going to have to go through the, the process, the ascension process of, you know, the clearing and the learning and the, all, all of that other stuff. Uh, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to speed up the fascination with the shift as well. And then we get to walk through this with a lot more grace and ease than this, you know, um, fighting with a, a, a different reality all the time, which seems to be, you know, it's there, but it it kind of isn't anymore. It's very strange, but the uh, you know the, the the separation of worlds. Uh, we you know if you start embodying a crystalline consciousness in in the way that's going to be available in the next. Oh my gosh, really? Before solstice. Uh, when when that starts happening, there's there's no turning back. You know, when it's blatant and obvious that all the stuff that we have been talking about and working on is, is manifesting in undeniable ways, it's, we're, we're moving on, you know, we're, we're moving on completely. Whether or not we're moving on to the fifth dimensional planet, I doubt it very much, because I think part of the, part of the, um, I, I mean, not now. Not, you know, not this summer. Um, but you do get to, to walk between. We're doing it already. You know, you talk about bilocation. I'm like, we're already bilocating, trilocating. This is, this is something that we're doing right now. It's your perception that changes. And you realize, oh, okay. And when your perception changes, then you have mastery of your bilocated self. Half in 5D, half down here being the teacher being the way shower, being the light server, saying, you know, I, I understand unconditional love. I understand light intelligence. And, and here we are. Okay, how can I show others? How am I going to help? How am I going to help? How am I going to help? The, the fifth dimensional new earth doesn't need the help. We need the help down here. So if, if anyone's like, how come I haven't made a full transcendence yet? Show me one person who has this year. Mm -mm. It's just we're, we're too needed. There are things that have to be shown to humanity. And yes, it's going to be challenging to walk around in that state of beingness, as challenging as it was for, for those who came before us, Yeshua, etc. As challenging as it was to walk around knowing the, the truth, feeling the truth, being the truth, and have so much confusion and, and so many people uh, ready to judge or ready to learn or think they're ready to learn and and yet resisting you know the fear is deep so let's let's raise the vibration of the planet let's raise the vibration of the collective and the higher frequency we can hold the faster this goes for all of us 
Thank you so much. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Many blessings. <laughs>